Yo, what's going down, guys? Uh, you know, I suppose to some intros or the other saying, what's up? That's mine. What's going on? So, anyway, here's my first After Effects tutorial, visual effects. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm not much of a composed into doing this tutorial. It's my first time. And what I'm going to be showing you is what I would like to call the Glow Scan Highlight Effect. As seen in my previous video, Battle of the Mages, here I'll show you a preview. Yes, right there. So as you can see, there is this um, glow going on across his body. Like a scan. Like, yeah, like a power-up, you know, effect. And there's, I think, also this one, which I do. No, not that. Uh, where it is? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's the same principle going on, except there's this kind of a stroke going on across the body rather than just a pure solid block of glow going on. So for that, let's get started. First, I want to make a new comp, control N. Oh, where? Right here. Oh, slow. Okay. 1280 by 720 HD, or that's half HD for some. And frame rate of 23.976 for a second because we're running on an NTSC. And I'm gonna make the duration just say because we ain't gonna consume much on this animation, just five seconds. Full resolution, composition name, whatever name you want to put in there, and then okay. And for that, or right as here, and we're gonna drop this footage right here. So it's an iPhone 5. I think it's ideal to make this the example and the footage. Ah, it's going real slow. I don't know. Maybe it's because of the recording device. Let's put it on auto resolution. All right, let's size down this and all right. So we got that this footage. Oh, if you're wondering how did I did the stuff on which the persons on the video get highlighted, you just need to use a roto brush tool or to mask them out if you don't have Adobe After Effects CS5. You just need to roto them out and then do the same technique that we're about to do here. So skip for that and let's get started. Okay, first, we don't want this white thing, this background, to all be included in the go effect that we are about to do. So what what we need to do is to color key it, I mean to remove this white image to isolate this iPhone product or the footage. Let's type in color key. Let's put it there, and then we're gonna key out. So there it is, but it, as you can see, there's still the edges. So if you do that, it's like add like one valid form. See. There's some transparency going on, but it's not a beach man. And we're gonna go to the edge feather of two, so we'll create like a smooth or maybe 0.5. Let's see. Uh -huh. uh, maybe about three. Anyway, so that seems to be well. And the next thing what we want to do is to duplicate this footage. So duplicate Control D, and then we're gonna add a glow. Let's add glow. Search glow, stylize glow, add to it. So, but before that, before we go into the details of the process, we're gonna have to pre-compose this. So go to pre-compose, control shift C, then move all attributes, and we're gonna name this glow layer. So there it is, and we're gonna go inside that glow layer composition. Then we're gonna adjust the glow settings. Okay, threshold identifies or uh, specifically points to what alpha or color of the footage is gonna be tolerated for it to glow. So let's say if we have a higher percentage of glow threshold, it's only gonna affect those who have a high luminance, let's say the whites, and if we have a low threshold, it's gonna affect almost everything, even the blacks, if you put it on a very low setting. So you can see just a tad. For now, we want to, like, since for it to be stand out at, let's say, 35, uh, 35, and then the radius, we're gonna adjust to make it a soft glow. So, lesser the radius, sharper, 
RGB radius softer. I'm gonna go with 135. And glow intensity, maybe that's okay. And then the next thing is when we create a mask on that layer. Uh, I think it moved. Uh, main thing you want, you don't want to do is for it to move, for it to be precise and to stay on the same place. So we're gonna create a mask on this glow layer. Uh, the rectangle tool, and then we're gonna draw a mask. Uh, the thickness depends on how much you want to thick it. Thick, it would be on the effect. For I would say, I would be satisfied with this, and then we're gonna animate this mask. So we'll go into the mask, mask one, and then wait. Let me just zoom out. All right. Now animate the mask path. I'm gonna say like one second, and then I'm gonna put it up. Um, for it to be straight, I am holding down the shift button so that, you know, it won't move on the, uh, horizont horizontally. Oh, it moves in the direction in which I drag the mouse. Alright, so we've got an animation going on. Let's see. So, it's something like that. And uh, if you'll notice, it's too sharp. It's not that quite appealing. So what we need to do is to set it, to, f to feather it, maybe in like about 100 or so. Let's see. Yeah, seems elegant. Now it's going on a fast uh, pace of animation. If we can ram preview that. Well, not too much. Maybe I'll shorten up. Yeah. See. Yeah. So we're gonna add the motion blur and activate motion blur so that it's like blurring out. Yeah. All right. Now the next thing we want to do is maybe we could set it to a blending mode, maybe overlay, let's see. So you see, you see the blending mode effects about how we'll do it. Maybe add all the luminance going on. Alright, so that's the basic principle of this glow highlight effect as you would see in my video, The Battle of the Mages, which if you have not seen, I recommend going to my channel and it's got a ton of video effects uh, which you can refer on, maybe if you're a visual graphic artist, you could refer to almost any effect that you would like to create, I don't know. Alright, now about the strokes. Um, it's not basically just a glow, so we're going to remove the glow and we're going to create a stroke meaning all the edges only of the given footage will be added to a glow on. So as you can see, nothing's happening. It's just, you know, just footage. So what we need to do is type in find edges. And we're going to add the find edges to this um, footage. Then what we can do is depending on what you want to glow on to add the glow effect, Obviously not this whole footage, not this whole body. That's just too glowy. You know what I mean? So we're gonna put invert, but then we have a problem as you can see We can see all these colors. We don't want those colors We only want the glow to be like of what color we want on a single color So what we need to do is type in tint put in tint and 100% map black to black and white to white So it's gonna create a black and white strokes for that, all right? Next thing, see, you can clear the see. It's feathered, so you kind of see the gradient going on here. And there it is. Then what we need to do is add glow, not onto this footage, but rather onto this pre comp we did. So, we can see it like that. And I see it always tempered, but there's a problem too. You can see the black is also going, and I mean, it's not isolated. So, to get rid of the black, we want to change the uh, blending mode to maybe screen. Uh, let's go away or add, maybe. Uh, let's just increase the threshold, maybe about 75 and the glow radius to 15. Let's see. Yeah, so it kind of makes like pretty cool effect for ah, uh, what's that? Uh, sorry, for advertisements and such, or maybe in visual effects. Even though we got a superpower going on with some guy, <laughs> I don't know. Awesome, just like that. All right, maybe uh, you know. Speaking of, uh, what do you call this? Speaking of advertisements. What's that? We could do it like beat 
Gucci. <laughs> no, this is just nothing. I'm just giving you an idea. Ah, ah man, wrong. Let's uh, invert. Yeah, and then we're gonna type in the text. Uh, come on. iPhone 5. Size it up. I mean, I mean, like, only 70. And put it here. The iPhone 5. <laughs> and we're gonna add an animation. Preset animation. I'm not gonna create much for the animation. Presets. Text. Blurs. Uh, blurs. Foggy. Uh huh. It's gonna find effects. Show you. Let's see. <laughs> so that does it. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of things you can do with this effect. You know, aside from this kind of advertisement thing. Uh, you can also apply it to any visual effects that you would indeed uh, find suiting on, especially with my Battle of the Mages, as you can see. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you like my tutorial. Also, if you really like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. It helps me grow my channel, you know? And all these great videos going on my channel, please watch them, this Battle of the Mages. And thanks again. Bye.